Hello everyone, welcome to another stimulating episode of Excel Video Tutorials. Today you're here with Alexander Wong and I'm going to be talking about the sum, the sum if, sum ifs, and the sum product function as well. So the sum function is pretty self-explanatory. It essentially adds up whatever you want it to add up. So in this case, we want to add up the total compensation of all these employees. So what you do is simply put in an equal sign and then write sum. And go from here all the way down to here. Or you can type that in as well, just with a colon. And there you go. So that was the sum. You could also do it individually, which I don't recommend, but just put a comma next to it and keep adding them like that. Okay, that covered the sum function. Now the sum if function. So essentially, uh, if you have another criteria to why you want to add something, for example here, what is the total compensation the company pays to paper employees? Okay, so we only want to add in the compensation if the business unit is paper. So first, let's put in the sum if function. Now the range is where is what you're testing. So in this case, we're testing the business unit. And then put in a comma. Now we want it to be paper. So open quotation marks, just write paper. And then another comma. And the sum range would be what are you adding if uh, the said thing is true. In that case, we're adding the compensation. And here you go. That's the sum if function. And now we have the sum ifs function. So essentially, multiple uh, logical tests, right? So if uh, what what the business unit was is one test, maybe we're checking level, and it seems like we are. What is the total compensation that the company pays to its paper employees that are in level four? So in this case, we want paper and level four. Okay, so I'm going to scratch this. Or, yeah, so let's just scratch this first. Not be confusing. And then go with this, right? So this is our first test. Make sure this is paper. Close quotation marks. And then add a comma. And then, um, whoops, forgot the S there. So some ifs function. Right, so that is, okay, so in this case, I did it slightly wrong. We're doing the sum range first. So the sum range is here. Criteria range number one is this. And then the criteria number one is that we want paper. Right, and then criteria number, range number two is the level right and we want it to be equal to 4 and then you can close your bracket and there you have it the compensation the total compensation that the company pays to paper employees that are in level 4 using a summit function now I'm going to demonstrate to you how a sum product works essentially what it means is it's taking Let's two arrays, so let's say two columns. Um, for example, uh, we want to multiply this with this, okay? And in that case, we're doing it for all of these ones. So we don't want to have, so one way to do it might be just to make product and this like that, and then you can drag it down and then use a sum function, right? But we don't want to do that even though I'm already almost finished with doing that. We want to use the sum product function, okay? Um, it's good to note that Excel really differentiates between text and between numbers. So in this case, this is text. Even the number in this is text. So if I use 
the function from my earlier video where you learned how to use right, mid, or left to extract this number, this three. It is going to be as text, and Excel, uh, the sum product is not going to work on text. So if there are numeric things, try to isolate them uh, to avoid any pain later. Just, yeah, put the level up here instead of in here. Probably a lot smarter. So let's start with the sum product. So you're going to put an equal sign, write sum product, and then select this entire array, put a comma in there, and select your second array, which would be the compensation. Right? Okay, that is the compensation of the entire um, of everyone added together. Okay, as the total compensation for the entire company, and then divided by a thousand, because of course there's always a catch. Even if Dunder Mifflin gives you your bonus, there's always a catch. And there you go. So today in this video, you learned about the sum, the sum if, sum ifs, and the sum product function. Uh, the sum if and the sum ifs are very similar to the count, the count if, and the count ifs function, as well as the average, the average if, the average ifs function. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, some of these basically have a lot of parallels. That's it for today. I hope I helped. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. See you next time.